What's up guys, it's welcome back to my channel for another video or welcome to my channel if you're new, it's your girl Nishi and I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you're drinking your water, minding your business and nourishing your mind, body and spirit. <music> All right, y'all, so let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, my hair is blown out. My hair needed a trim. It hasn't been trimmed in, oh my gosh, a good while. Like, since maybe like mid to like August, September-ish of last year. So it's been needing a trim. So I went ahead, blew up my hair and did that. And I decided, you know what? Let me just hop on camera and film my Pennywise haul right now. So that is exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to jump right into that video now. So yeah guys, as with most of my Pennywise hauls, I purchase these things like way in advance and then I take forever to film the video. So some of them already open, case in point, our toothpaste. So I purchased a Colgate value pack of um, toothpaste and y'all, if I have the bill, I hope I do. If I do, I will put it down in the description box. If not, I'm really, really sorry. <laughs> but we purchased a value pack of the Col Colgate whitening toothpaste. So y'all, as per usual, I will be kind of just grabbing things at random. I did try to like leave the hair stuff in one particular bag. So I'll do that last because, you know, we're all about the hair stuff. But for right now, just going at random. So I guess this bag just had like more nail things. So, um, well, before the nail things, I just bought a new, what do you call this? Toothbrush and tongue cleaner, tongue scraper or whatever. So pretty self-explanatory <laughs> as we're on the topic of like what do you call that mouth care or like oral care also just picked up a pack of the Listerine Reach Cool Mint Floss this is my favorite one so every time I see it in Pennywise I pick up one even if we don't need because <laughs> we literally just opened a pack not too long ago so this is just for backup because sometimes I do go to Pennywise and they don't have it so like I said anytime I see it in Pennywise I literally automatically just pick up one so yeah, still on the topic of like oral care, we also bought Listerine. Like I told you guys in my last Pennywise haul, they still have only had these small ones. Well, at least at the time I purchased. So yeah, as I was saying, <laughs> the, at the time I purchased this, they had the small one and then I ran back into Pennywise for something else. And I saw that they have the big ones now, but I just didn't purchase it because we still have the other one that was in this pack. Um, we started using and then it still has this brand new one. So hopefully when we're ready to buy again, we could still get the big one because I feel like it makes just makes more sense to have one big one as opposed to having to buy two small ones. And I feel like the price would be better as well, but whatever. So next on the list was this clean and white disinfectant spray. You all know we're still in a pandemic. So of course, disinfectant sprays are a must. And while we're on the topic of pandemic, <laughs> I just purchased this aloe vera hand sanitizer. And lately I've been preferring these spray ones, especially when you're on the go. It just makes it easier to just like ch -ch -ch and keep it pushing. So I purchased one of these. And honestly, I purchased, I have one in my car already. And I mean, I don't really need one for when I'm in the house. But I purchased this because you guys if you follow me on instagram you know i've been kind of hinting at taking a trip soon this was more so for the trip than for now because i actually have one already in my vehicle for when i'm on the go so this one was for more so when we're like going through the airport and whatever and then like using like the gel sanitizer multiple times it kind of gets sticky so the fact that we're going to have to be using a lot of sanitizer going through the airports doing different things touching a lot of stuff i just prefer to pick up the spray and that will be that. So yeah, while we're on the topic of like sanitizing and not having to touch too many things to pick up germs, I also picked up this disposable pack, well, this pack of disposable gloves. I don't know if you guys are seeing that at all, but yeah, I just picked up a pack of disposable gloves. These are the clear ones that you could use at like when you're handling food because we plan to like go to a buffet and different things like where we're staying has a buffet and so I don't really trust that people come in there are uh, 100% clean or have washed their hands before they go to the buffet so I just prefer to ask for us to wear gloves and that way you could just dispose of them after and not have to worry about touching all these different utensils that everybody else and their mother has touched because I'm not trying to go on vacation and get COVID so I just picked up a pack of gloves so 
you guys will probably see coming up very soon. I have a Shein haul and in one of the hauls, I told you guys that I purchased a shoe. And so I just decided to pick up a, what do you call this? A orthotic. It's a, it's a insole, a, a insole to like make shoes more comfortable. I picked up one of these, so that'll kind of give you an insight into what happened with the shoe from Shein. But I picked up a pack of these insoles from Profoot. Usually I get Dr. Scholl's, but this is the one that Pennywise had. So I was like, I'll uh, just pick it up. Hopefully it works. <laughs> Next up, I picked up a pack of shavers. These are pretty self-explanatory. They're just the regular pack of big shavers. And these are the ones I always get don't nick me they don't cut me they don't cause like itching or like uh ingrown hairs or anything like that so i'm pretty comfortable using these and just pick these up and as on the topic of shavers <laughs> i also picked up this avino positively smooth shave gel now the one i usually get which is for sensitive skin they didn't have that one and this was the only one i think that was like lightly fragrance because i don't like my body products to be too scenty so I just picked this up because I know that it's lightly scented and it shouldn't irritate my skin too much. So yeah. And as we're on the topic of body, I also picked up a sunscreen. This is the Good Sense Continuous Spray Sport. It is comparable to Banana Boot, they say. That's usually the brand I get for like outdoor sunscreen or sports sunscreen. It has a SPF protection of 50. I would have personally preferred to, for it to be like 70 and over, but I know that at least 45 is like recommended. So I went ahead and picked this up. This was the only brand Pennywise had and I was like, really Pennywise? <laughs> like I said, I usually get banana boots, but they didn't have that. And of course we need this on vacation because you know you have to reapply your sunscreen every few hours or like a jazz. So it's just easier, especially if I have on makeup, to just reapply with a spray than to like use a cream. That just gets messy. <laughs> So now we're getting into some beauty stuff um, and I guess we could start with nails first. So I picked up this pack of nails by Impress Press on Manicure. Originally, I don't even know if I'll use this to be honest. I, I think this was more of an impulse purchase, um, but I wanted short nails and I found that I just wanted something very easy and I didn't want to have to pay somebody because I spent a lot of money already for this trip that I was just trying to cut costs in other ways. And so I just picked up a pack of press on nails and I also picked up a pack of glue cause I find that the adhesive that comes in these doesn't work well enough. So I picked up an extra like adhesive to make sure it stays on, stays on. <laughs> cause generally in my experience when using press on nails, they don't stay on very long. So I just bought a little extra reinforcement. This is the super nail stick it brush on nail glue and i like the fact that it's brush on so i could evenly spread the nail glue on my nail bed and then um go ahead and put the nail on so i just think that'll be a lot more convenient um this color and that's the thing i didn't find like a great variety of stuff in pennywise in terms of the design this is pretty basic and i guess maybe basic is good because i could just kind of mix and match with my different outfits but whatever so as we're on the topic of nails i picked up these three nail things <laughs> i picked up the ashley lee calcium builder the ashley lee hydrating base coat and this car this person with their car is so rude i hope you guys are not hearing that and then i also picked up the la colors um, nail polish in a vanilla latte and I'll show you guys all of this much closer up so you could actually see what the colors look like and that kind of thing but those are just the three I picked up I love this because I actually use it already the LA colors vanilla latte it literally is like the perfect nude it looks just like your actual nail color so the perfect like everyday nude for like if I'm just wearing my regular nails but I just want to like spice it up a little bit you know I also picked up now the originally the plan was to do like individual lashes just so that I don't have to worry about false lashes on my trip but then also like I just said trying to minimize my expenses because I put out a lot of money already for this trip so I just picked up two I already have another pack of lashes but I just picked up additional two more these are the color 3d foaming lashes one is in the 
um, what do you call it, style. One is in the style noir and one is in the style lavish. So I just picked up these two and like I said, I will show you guys these closer up. One is just more of a dramatic lash. One is a bit more natural looking. So I picked up these two. I also picked up these um, dimmer planing razor things. I've seen people use them annual. I am low-key scared. <laughs> like I purchased the most expensive one that Pennywise had just because I feel really weird about shaving my face and I'm not quite sure how this is supposed to work. I'm going to have to watch a lot of YouTube videos before I even attempt to use this on my face. But this is the color razors and it's supposed to be used it's supposed to be able to be used for your eyebrows your neck and your face to remove unwanted hair with painless precision i don't know i am not sure but i will see how this goes i will likely put this on my instagram if anything um my experience using these for the very first time we will see how this goes Alrighty, so in terms of like makeup related stuff, I did pick up the Sasha Liquid Velvet Face Canvas and y'all have been looking for this forever, like since last year, like since it first came out, I think I saw Tisa High um, talk about it and she said it was really good um, and I've been looking for a primer for forever. So when I heard that Sasha had a new primer and everybody was talking about it, I was like, I have to have it. And then they were like out of stock for the longest and I finally got my hands on it now. So I'm pretty happy about this. I actually used it for my makeup today. Um, so I guess I'm just testing it out to see if it's something that I like or not. This one, I just picked up a brown eyeliner. It's literally the same brown I use for my eyebrows. I just picked up a new one because the one I have is like this tiny. <laughs> so I needed to get another one. I also picked up a Sasha mascara. I found myself getting into using mascaras a lot more lately. Just because not every time I, feel, I film content, I feel like putting on, like going through trouble of putting on false lashes. So I found myself gravitating more to mascara, which is what I did on my lashes today. And for a more natural look, it just helps to give your eyes a little bit more plump. And the one that I have and have been using, and you guys would have seen this in a previous Pennywise haul, is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Luscious Waterproof Um eyeliner and so I do like this a lot it really really works to help volumize my lashes but I decided to pick up the Sasha mascara because the girl told me that it's supposed to help lengthen so I figure if I could lengthen and then volumize that would give me like equal like more of a boost in terms of my lashes so I also picked this up I also picked up a new um what do you call this eyeshadow brush and this is also by color and as you guys realize clearly i have a love like color was the first brand i ever used when i first started wearing makeup like way back in the day and so i just kind of always gravitate to purchasing their stuff to be honest no particular real rhyme or reason maybe because their stuff has lasted me like that was my first set of makeup brushes and it's the makeup brushes i still use to this day so it just it works they work and they last really long and they're good quality so i'll continue to support them and i picked up this eyeshadow brush i think i picked up another one did i pick up another one i feel like i would have picked up two things but i'm only seeing one so i don't know if i put it back or what but i picked up just a regular eyeshadow brush because the one that i have i only have one like big eyeshadow brush i could use for blending so i decided to pick up another one as well and as we're on the topic of eyeshadow brushes, I also need to clean the ones I currently have. And I just happened to see this brush shampoo with a silicone cleaning pad. So basically they give you the pad in here and then the, it comes with a, a, what do you call this? A, a makeup brush cleaner, the solution in here. And then you get the mat to kind of like paint on the mat and clean your brushes properly so i mean it's not a necessity but it's nice to have and i just saw it and this was also kind of like an impulse purchase <laughs> this is the epl brush shampoo with silicone cleaning mat it's like four ounces of cleaning solution and i mean after this is done i likely won't go back and repurchase but i do like the fact that i get the mat so at least i could use the mat and in future just use whatever other cleaning solutions i need the other thing I got was a deodorant and this is supposed to be a gentle deodorant with a hint of aloe 
It is by the brand Ivory and it's made without aluminium, parabens or phthalates. And it says it is dermatologist tested. It's supposed to offer 24 hour odor protection. And I think it's supposed to be a more natural deodorant. So I picked it up because I'm always trying to switch up my deodorants. Because I feel like when your body gets accustomed to one deodorant, it kind of stops working for you as much as it should. So I like to switch up my deodorants often. And so I decided to pick this up. It's a very clean scent. So I like that about it. And I don't have too many hair things, but I know a lot of people like to see the hair stuff. And so I picked up this um, Eden Body Works Hibiscus Honey Blow Dry Cream. And as you may be able to tell, that's what I used to blow up my hair today. So it's already been used. Um, the other thing I purchased is this Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair Protein Power Treatment. I also use this already and you guys will see that video coming out very soon, how I prep, prep my hair for protective styles. And of course, I blew up my hair so that I could hop into a protective style. So I needed to do a protein treatment prior just to be able to fortify my hair before the blow dry and before the tension of the protective style. So of course, doing a protein treatment is necessary. So I picked up this Shea Moisture one. It doesn't provide a ton of slip. Actually, you know what? You guys go watch that video and you'll find out my thoughts about this particular deep conditioner. And if I did see it in this video already, I will cut it out and you guys will go to that video as well and hear my thoughts about this blow dry cream. And as on the topic of protective style, I picked up this Shine and Jam conditioning gel. Now you all hear me out, right? I <laughs> have cried bloody murder at using jams on my hair. I told you guys, I don't do it. I don't like it for my hair or for my scalp. I don't like it for my scalp because it tends to flare up my dermatitis. If these jams tend to be very oil-based and so I don't generally tend to use them. I don't like to use them at all, to be very honest with you. However, I did find a use for it. I plan, in the protective style I plan to do, you guys, just stay tuned. In the protective style I plan to do, I plan to use it and I'll show you guys how in that video. I don't want to make this video too long, so definitely stay tuned and look out for when I do that video and you will see how a girl with seborrheic dermatitis is planning to use Shine and Jam or Let's Jam or Edge Control for her protective styles without causing a flare up on vacation because we do not want that. <laughs> And the last but not least, y'all. Now, this was a this was a big purchase, and it still hurts my pocket to this day. But I know it works so amazingly. And this is the Camille Rose Almond Dry Twisting Butter, y'all. I love this stuff. And I tell you, I love this stuff. I love this stuff. It works so well. I used it for the first time back in 2017. That's how long ago, like legit five years ago. And I bought two while I was in New York because they were ridiculously cheap. But then when it finished and I came down back in Trinidad, it was like a hundred and something dollars. And it's still a hundred and something dollars. But like I said, I know it works really well. So I was like, Tanisha, it's your hair. You're really trying to focus on moisture this year and length retention. Pick it up. You know it works. You don't have to guess. It works pick it up. So I did. I also have, to me, this is comparable to the Mixed Restray Irish Moss Leave-In. This, I think, has a little bit more hold, um, but it's basically, like, to me, it's comparable. So it's around the same price in Mixed Restray. is like 120 and this one is like 144 145 So the prices are comparable. So I was like, if I could purchase the Mixed Restray, I could purchase this, you know? So I think those are all of the products that I purchased at Pennywise. Yes. Y'all, this bill. <laughs> when I got to the, the cashier and the girl rang me up, I was like, oh my gosh. Like, I, cl I liter quite literally clutched my bills. I was like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like, what? It was like, over $1,000. Yeah. So we won't be doing this anytime soon. You guys know I go to Pennywise like maybe every three or four months. So technically, if you like 
break it down don't even have to bring me one it's not that bad <laughs> for like three four months worth of stuff i don't plan to buy hair products again anytime soon anytime soon i don't plan to buy makeup stuff again anytime soon and a lot of the other things were like for vacation stuff so i mean my next pennywise haul should be relatively or my next trip to pennywise i should say should be like relatively back to normal in terms of price so yeah i think that brings us to the end of this video if you saw anything in this video that you'd like me to do like a separate video to review definitely comment that down below and i'll be sure to do that for you guys if you've used anything that I've talked about and you love it, or even if you hate it, definitely let me know. Put your giggle on so I'll know before I mess myself up. <laughs> and definitely comment any requests, any video ideas that you guys have. Comment that down below and I'll be sure to do that for you guys. But if you've gotten to this point in the video and you're not yet subscribed, sis or sir, I'm going to need to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss future uploads. And... I thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to nourish your mind, body, and spirit. And I'll see you guys in the very next video. Take care, guys. Bye.